Well, you can use content types for anything. Let's go ahead and add another item. This time, click on Shortcuts and click Add Content. Choose a basic page. Now, a basic page is nothing more now than a title and a body. There's no tags, there's no images, and as we'll see over here, it's not promoted to the front page by default. There's no commenting on a basic page, and as such, because it's not promoted to the home page, it's pretty easy to create a new menu. Well, let's go ahead and call this about Drupalville. Put some text in here. This is our about page. It almost never changes. Go ahead and provide a menu link, and you'll see that the title is filled in into the menu title. So you could shorten this, change it any way you want. Make sure it's in main navigation, and we'll leave the weight at zero for now. Weight is where the menu will appear in the list. A lower number or a negative number will make it appear higher, i.e. it will float to the top. We'll leave everything else the same. Go ahead and make sure you've provided a menu link and click Save and Publish. And now you'll notice we've got an About Drupalville link, and it takes me to my basic page content type with the node title About Drupalville and a node ID of number three. If you added other nodes or if there have been other nodes already in, your node ID might change. But essentially, if you look at the bottom left, you'll see this is node ID 3. Not that you need that very often, but it's there when you do. So that's the article and the basic page content type. This one with a link in our menu system.